Something is wrong. Foul. Curse it. will take three Paris mansions. <laughs> we know you are greedy, but why three? One for me, one for my horse, and uh, one for my axe. Hard light to the feast. Oh. Long ships on the shore, as beautiful as swans. More like wolves circling for the kill. True, this is no raid. When we get inside those walls. What happened, Eivor? You have fought before. Bled. Killed. Yes, but... There are children in that city. They cannot flee. When the wind is right, I can hear them yelling. Playing games. There need not be a slaughter. We may still persuade the Franks to yield. 
Though I am unsure of the best way. Tell this to Siegfried. Tell me what? We're here. They see our strength. Let them give up their silver, sign the treaties, and we sail home. To gain fame and wealth this way is good. Count Odo leads the Franks in Paris, yes? Aye, he defends the city and draws other nobles to cause. I can talk to this Odo. No more talk. The High One says, "'Tis better to live than to die, that the debt till no feels." You quote the old father at me. I shall burn Paris, with or without you. You have lost thanes enough. Would you rule a wasteland? Go then. Talk Count Odo out of his silver, if you can. I will at that. Toka, where is this Odo? You might pick up his trail at Ponce's era, but go with stealth. That is enemy ground. And Eivor, this Odo is no willow reed. He does not bend in the wind. Be cautious around here. This must be the Fort Toka mentioned. I need clues to Otto's whereabouts. That's odd.
should be at his manor. The one with red flowers. Time to end this case. Enough meat here to feed the settlement for months.
way is well guarded. Best to find another way in. Hell, you found me for going this way. Who says I cannot enter? be seen in this area. going on bushes good cover
safer for a time. in front of a country manor. This must be Odo's place. I should wear a disguise in this place. The Northmen broke my house and killed my son. Now the plague takes my wife. Why does God torment me? Why? Easy, me lord. You drank too much wine and your tongue runs free in its grief. Uh, no, I must hide. Norseman drinks the blood of saints. Reveal to Prophet John. Everyone, into the wine cellar. Who goes there? Pardon me, my lady, but I seek an audience with Count Odo. I see. 
But my husband is busy recruiting nobles to aid in the coming war. Good lady. I too wish to pledge my blade to defend Paris from the heathen hordes. I see. And are you one of our Frisian allies from the barbaric fringes of the kingdom? Yes. I have journeyed a great many days along the coast and down the river. And do you have a signed and sealed writ of audience? Without a proper writ, I simply cannot allow you inside. We must be wary of assassins, you know. Oh, the scroll. I left it in my saddlebags. I shall fetch it. I need one of those noble writs to meet with Odo. One of the guests might have one. The guest has gone mad. He's hiding in a wine cellar. I won't believe it. One of our nobles cowering like a stable hand. Greetings, friends. What is the trouble? One of Odo's guests has got filthy drunk and locked himself in the wine cellar. Shameful. Was he invited here to help defend Paris? Perhaps, but what sort of help can such a lout provide? I am dubious, I tell you. That drunken noble might have one of those reds I need to meet with Odo. Oh, no. oh, help me bash down this door! Oh, one of our guests has locked himself in the wine cellar. Let me. Oh, Lord Clovis, you have drunk yourself to sleep after making a frightful scene. Please, show me a kindness and help Lord Clovis outside while I clean up this mess. Nothing to fear. I will carry Lord Clovis outside for some fresh air. This drunk has a paper in his pocket. Looks like the writ I need to meet with Count Dodo. I have returned with the writ, permitting me to speak to Count Odo. Excellent. You may enter. And we do appreciate your efforts on our behalf. I need to find Count Odo. The other side must be barred. Not getting in this way. Odo has trusted me and me alone with the key to his study. How did such an outrage come to be? Because, dear Lothar, I gift him with rare vintages, whole casks from as far away as Greece. Ha! <laughs> Servant, bring more wine! I shall see to our wine, dear Lothar. Farewell. these heathen devils back into the Abyssal Sea. As you say, my lord, but these Northmen are mortal, not demons. They want land and plunder. True. The Northmen are fierce and the king is slow to defend us. Yet every one of you swore an oath before God to defend this realm. We will overcome this evil as we always have. I cannot compel you to do your duty. Your hearts must guide you. Gosle, kindly show our guests out. Come out and say what you wish to say, Eivor of England. You saw me enter. Fair enough. But how do you know me? My scouts speak of a famed warrior with a raven. Do you think us fools? 
I did not expect such courtesy. Mulled wine, from what we call vin chaud. Properly spiced, seated, and served with fruit. My one vice. Wine grapes do not grow in the north. We drink mead. Mead. Evo, you risked much to see me. I respect that. But why? You have land in England, no? I have no wish to settle my people in Francia. Then how much coin will satisfy your lust? A hundred deniers? A thousand? And after you? Who's next? Ragnar and his sons came here years ago. We bought them off with silver. And they burned Paris anyway. I do not want silver. I want England free of Frankish meddling. We are not part of your kingdom. <laughs> and I would like our kingdom free of Norse meddling, as you call it. But, for argument's sake, what are your terms? As I said, Charles leaves England alone. Second, he embraces Siegfried as an ally. And finally, he lets Siegfried's thanes keep their lands in the north. Rouen Amien were my father's lands! You shall never claim my birthright! Your army will never take Paris. And you will never have peace. Not here, and not in England. My men will escort you out. When next we meet, we shall be on the field of battle. Farewell. I must return to camp and tell the others what Odo said. safer for a time. Even time to drink. What do you take? Wine. Much wine. It was a long journey. The hero of Ravensthorpe, the Skalds call this one. Gifted at war and at words, they say. But I see no treasure. Why? 
Where is all those silver? Have you kept it all for yourself? It went as you said. The man is no reed. He would not bend, would not yield. Franks love to talk, but their words are as empty as the wind. True. But a wise sailor still listens to the wind. It may foretell a coming storm. Now, two things we must do to carry this siege. First, we shall take some ground for our catapults. I will help with this. Somewhere near Paris, I guess. But is it guarded? The Franks lack the men to hold the whole city. Only the walled island, the Ile de la Cité. Still, go with care. Good. And the second thing? Find a flaw in their defenses. A place where our warriors can breach their walls. Or a way for our ships to encircle the island. Some weakness we can exploit. Agreed. But how? Might be that I know a way, but it carries risk. Speak, Toka. In the slums south of the walls, there is a smuggler. A woman. A Breton lover. <laughs> She's not my lover, just a campfire fling. But if anyone knows the city's weak points, she does. I would go myself, but uh, we... Nolwen, she... They quarreled. The smuggler stole Toka's necklace before she stole her heart. Now Toka misses her necklace. I will talk to this smuggler and find a weakness in the Frank's defenses. You have my word. Good. All is settled then. No, Uncle. There is another thing. Odo will not see reason. But Charles might. We should speak to him again. You wish for more talking? We should speak to the Fat King. Gain a truce. What? He tried to kill me. Why talk to him again? Those stone walls will not yield. Not without a bloody fight. He may give us silver without half our clan dying on those walls. Perhaps Toka is right. Charles may still yield. Go, niece. Talk to every king and bishop in the land. Just like Eivor the Talker. It matters not, but soon comes the end of talk. Soon the spears will clash and the city will burn. Be ready to fight that day. My word, once given, is never broken. I will fight at your side, secret. Never doubt. Enough, friends, uncle. We are of one heart here. I will seek the king at the Clever Fox, a tavern on the north bank. Pierre says he carouses there. Toka is a good thane. Someday she may stand in front of an army, like you, Siegfried. I hope so. But for now, she stands with me. Meet me at the bell tower, Eivor, when you are ready to fight some Franks. Instead of talk to them. <laughs> What do you laugh at, Thane? They say you stink of crow shit, hero. But you smell like Frankish piss wine to me. I need to lay the groundwork for the siege. What to do first? for our catapults. An army of wooden giants to bring down the walls. Those Franks. What are they doing? Ah, they slay another of their own today. For what? Who can say? If a man prays to the wrong god, sleeps with the wrong woman, follows the wrong king, by Frankish law, that man dies. Among the Saxons, it is much the same. Aye, but the Saxons are fewer. They are divided, and they fight both us and the Celts. These Franks, though, 
United under a great king. It would be like unleashing Fenrir the Wolf upon the world. We are God's priests, and we are good. But if thou do that which is evil, fear, for we beareth not the sword in vain. Who are those two? I've seen that warrior priest with Count Odo before. Gosling and Ebels. Warriors and brothers. One leads the priests of past, the other the Frankish armies. For we are God's priests, avengers to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Wherefore ye must- Brother, you talk too much! Ah! Come on, let us go take that workshop now. Quite a show they put on. We'll have to fight those Franks soon. True, but today is not that day. My men are ready. Come, let's take some ground for the catapults. I would never give my warriors a shameful death like that. Nor would I. But I've met rotten rulers many lives. You speak true, Siegfried. The Franks have no monopoly on wickedness. Almost there. Now, let us travel light and stick to the rooftop. Siegfried Skullbreaker is here. Come, man! We shall take this workshop and make it our own! We scouted the place. They keep watch, but not well. And the sidelines? A perfect place for our catacombs to burn stones upon that cursed town. I never took you for a rooftop runner, Siegfried. I am no goat-footed climber like you, but I hold my own on cliffs and walls. Our new catapults are eager for battle. A crack of wood and stone is the sound of victory. <laughs> Vengeance. I must be careful. This place has a good line of sight in the city wall.
great victory. The gods smiled upon this day. Indeed. This gives us another place where our catapults can smash down their walls. Eivor, know you the fate of Vida Odinson. The god of vengeance, who fights beside his father in the battle at the end of days. Yes. Vida avenges him. Vida twists the great wolf's neck with his bare hands, then stabs the beast through the belly. So say the Nordnir. Days like today, I walk in the shoes of Vida, avenging my brother. Other days, there is nothing. We will bring those walls down on Odo's head, and I will avenge my brother. It is good. We shall meet back in camp when all is ready, Siegfried. to get on the other side. Show me what lies ahead. Toka said King Charles carouses at this tavern. Strange to drink and make merry on the eve of war. Dance and sing to the madness. 
of the king. What a the fat king. What other king could I mean? They say he sleeps here. He slept here, he ate here, he drank here, and he left here. Where he went after that? Who am I to say? No luck finding the king. Eivor! No, no luck. Finding such a large, famous man should be easy, but not for me. Come, let us drink. Who are these strange folk? Fools with no shame and no honor. Players who perform for the king. One of these fools may lead us to that greater fool, the king. <laughs> Don't bother. It's like talking to drunks or goats. Or drunken goats. Eivor, I, I should thank you. Uh, for what? For backing me against Siegfried. He will not talk to the Franks, but we should still try, yes? Yes. And you can do this thing, with or without him. But I failed. Nobody here will tell me where to find the king. What should I do? A wise shield warrior must know both swords and words. Watch and learn. Greetings, good sir. I would offer my sword to your king. Where may I find him? When the great bear was sleeping, the jesters went creeping into the great bear's room. The jesters were all drinking, dancing and singing, even if waking the bear spells doom. The bear might be the king, so the king had a room. You there, acting strange. Where is your king? As mute as the dead. No matter. I found what I need. Charles enjoys the theater in Amiens. Good. Let us go. No, he may lash out if he meets one of Siegfried's clan. Best I go alone. As you wish. But meet me here when you are done and tell me what he said. can get that damned king of rats. I have a bad feeling there will be a trap waiting for us. You can't take the rat king lightly. I'll trust you. I have your guts out.
hung clean off their neck. Aha! Uh -huh. An unworthy challenger approaches. Your arena has no crowd. Oh, Eden. Your eyes fail you. Can you not see my admirers all around me? I will not disappoint them. Ready your weapon. Step into my arena and prepare for defeat. Get for you now, Eden! You'll die in this ring. The last thing in your ears will be applause and cheers from my company ear. For I am Hébert de Lillibon, and you are soon to be gone. If they see me, this will get messy.
By his height, by his weight, by the length of his socks. No! Looks like the backstage. Maybe Chance lurks within. Oh, daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed. Happy shall he be that takes the little ones. Yes, demon. What? What does it do to the little ones? He dashes them against the stones. No, 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 no. It is only the heathen, led astray by Lucifer, but mortal all the same. Charles, I heard two voices. Who else is back here? No one but me, and this weak creature of flesh. <coughs> Forgive me. Talking to that which does not exist opens the door for something that does. This I know. Let me assure you, my demon exists. As does my god. <coughs> Kill me. Make me a martyr king. I should slay you where you stand for that trick you played on me and the queen. <laughs> that will not get you what you want, huh? Peace and a, a free hand in England, correct? Odo won't see reason. Siegfried wishes to burn the city down, but you... You can save Paris. If the world were so simple, bread would grow on trees. Odo is a great man... ...with greater ambitions. All of my nobles make demands of me. So does the Pope, and the Greeks, the Slavs, the Saxons, the Saracens. And you, huh? Aha, <laughs> you Northmen. You demand land, hostages, tribute. 
Sometimes the best move is not to move at all. You would let your enemies slaughter one another? I will let my enemies paint God's green earth red with infidel blood. While pious Charles prays only for peace. Is there nothing you want? Yes. By now you know I care not a whit for my barren wasteland of a wife. But your son, Bernard... My only heir. Bring me the prince, unharmed, and I will consider the merits of your offer. Else be gone. You want him brought to a dingy theater, where you talk to yourself in the dark? No. Present my son to me on the field of battle, before all my men and vassals. Why then? Why wait? My nobles need to see me getting something from you, northerners. Now, until that day dawns, there is the door. You look none the worse for ale. How much did you drink? Not enough to make me enjoy those awful Frankish scalds. But tell me, will Charles sign a truce? He will not even speak to us until we hand over his son, Bernard. But we do not have the bastard boy. No, but I know where the Queen took him. The Plague Ward, south of the city. I will gather my thanes and take them hostage. To seize the Prince lacks honor. We should keep an eye on the boy all the same. Hmm. I know a man of keen eye and light step. Pierre. A wise choice. So, one step closer to breaching the walls and burning a city. Yes. And I do not want this thing. What else can we do? See you back at the camp, Toka. <laughs> <laughs> 